Hi, my name is Debbie Evans, and another um, question that I get asked a lot is how much is my project going to cost me? Um, I do a lot of budgeting, and I have for years, and I've done a lot of on-site project management, so I can kind of typically, I get hired a lot to kind of come in and people will say, how much does my renovation cost? And sometimes they'll say, oh, someone told me it was going to cost, you know, $50,000 or $100,000. And I'll kind of look at it and I'll go, you know, it's actually going to cost you this much money and it's going to take this long. And so if you don't kind of, don't always go with the first person that comes in and tells you something. If you're really uncomfortable with what they say, ask a few people to come in and give you an idea. And if you're starting to hear the same thing, that, you know, one person said they could do it for 50000 and, you know, we had two people that were more like $100,000, then... You should really be kind of taking that information in and processing it and even potentially have another person come in and ask them. Um, some people work off per square foot charge. So they may say um, a typical house build is, you know, $150 a square foot or $250 a square foot. But ask in the area that you're building and try to find out if it's a spec home, like which is just a basic specification, or is it a custom build? Because there's a huge difference between the two. So when we're doing renovations, um, just because I've done so many, I can kind of go in pretty, you know, pretty accurately and tell people it's going to take this long, um, cost this much money, and these are kind of the things you're looking at. Um, if someone comes in and underquotes that, sometimes they're underquoting it because they don't have the right information in there. They may ha not have the appliances that you want, um, you know, cheaper cabinets, cheaper finishing, etc or they may not have labor included, or maybe they didn't include appliances. So what I do with my clients is I help them. Most of the projects I work on, I do budgeting as well, and I kind of go through that process with them and try to come up with a budget so that um, they know a realistic number before they start. And then sometimes it creeps up because we add things in in the project, but we just include that you know, as we're working on things. But um, budgeting is the most important thing for a successful renovation and new build and you really want to have um, the right expectation of the number that you're going to finish with so that you can be comfortable throughout the whole build or renovation. So kind of that's my thing. I think budgeting is pretty probably number one. So you want to kind of get that down pat before you even start any of the, um, the project like construction um, and you'll feel so much more comfortable once you get that budget set. So yeah. So once you kind of meet with your designer, you get your scope and your budget, um, I think you'll be a lot more comfortable. So thank you.